Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here. I'm the creator of the Divi Contact Form Helper plugin. This super popular plugin now has been updated to version 1.6 with over 100 main features. So I'm gonna take a look in this video of the new features in version 1.6. You can check out the blog post. Here we have all the information written with screenshots. So that's the best place to get the information about everything that's new. So here we are, version 1.6. We have reached 100 main features. Now when I say main features, we're not talking about like little settings, like there's hundreds and hundreds of settings, but main features, there's 100 main features. That's It's hard to believe. For, for the price, I haven't raised the price at all. Um, this is like a premium plugin at this point. So the first new feature is a digital signature field. So this is something we were asked about a lot. Um, now you can literally add a new field type that's a signature field. Um, you can enable it. In fact, I'll go in here to this um, example website and show you how easy it is. All right, so I'll click on add new field. Um, you can give it a label and I'll use the same ID. So scroll down here into field options. You will want to make sure it's on input field. Um, we're not able to add the field types here, but we can add them down here. So notice it says use as signature pad. So I can enable that. And then I'll like go back out of that. So that's going to be this field. Now inside this field, right? When I click on design tab, scroll down here, you can see signature pad and here's all the design settings. So as usual, we put tons of design settings. There's going to be settings for the pad itself, like the, the width and the height, the background color. These are defaults here, the pen color when you're writing the pen thickness, you know, margin padding, all, all the things you're used to seeing. Um, and then there's a save button and a clear button and a message. So the normal design settings. So I'm gonna go ahead and save this. So now I'm looking at the front end. So I'll come along here and I can, you know, try to sign my name, um, whatever, and then click save. And then you'll agree to that and it'll say, hey, it's been saved. Now when I submit this, all right, so that there, the screw, uh, signature will be submitted. Now I'm going to go to the entries in the back end and show you. See, I have a new entry now. So this one here. Now when I view it, you can see this the signature right there. And I can click on this. I could download this, save it as an image if I needed it. Um, it'll save here and it will also attach to um, the admin email as an attachment. So it's pretty cool. So now you can get the, the official signature like that. All right, so that covers everything about the signature field. Um, we have a new setting to save file uploads to the WordPress media library. So when you have a file upload field, you could have sent them, you can send them with the admin email and you can send them into the entry itself. But now you can actually make them show in the media library. I'll go through and add a file upload field just to show you that. So after you add that, go down here to uh, submission entries and now we have this new setting, uh, where is it at? Save file uploads to media library, see that? So when that's on, then it will do that. And you can also, like you can see here, uh, save file uploads to database and as attachments with email. So now you have three options here. So I'll just upload a few images. I'm gonna grab some, just some of these photos here from my child theme. All right, so there's upload and I'll just submit this. Oops, I need to sign off on that. Save that. Okay, here we go. Now, these file uploads that I just uploaded, now I'm going to go in the back end here and view that entry. And um, side note, we also updated how these display here. But here you can see the entries. Now, let's look for these now when I go to the media library because I had the setting enabled. All right, so here you see, you can see this, this image, this one, this one and this one were file uploads that I uploaded. So there you go. Pretty cool. Um, multilingual support. So we have the custom text settings in the back end. So when you're in here in the theme options, custom text, um, we, and that we added this new setting. If you enable multilingual languages, um, then it naturally is going to hide the other ones. But um, without that, we have all the custom text, you know, for the file uploads and things. But all right, so be sure to let us know if you have any problem with that. It's that's a new territory for us, multilingual. We, we, um, you know, we're kind of 
maybe call this beta. Um, so hopefully everything goes well. If you are a customer that has a multilingual site and you use our plugin, then let me know any feedback that you have. All right, so custom text for the error message. In fact, that was right in there where we were. So we added this, the required fields text and the field error text. Now you can, you know, this is what it says by default, please fill in the following fields or please fix the following errors, right? In fact, I'll show you, like if I put the wrong thing here and then I try to submit, see, please fill in the following fields or please fix the following errors. Now I can change that and say anything here, you know, or else, um, please, you know, don't say that, but. <laughs> All right, now if I do the same thing, it's going to update this text. All right, disable past times. So in a recent update, we had a setting to dis disable past dates in the date picker. Now we added one to disable past times. So um, whenever I'm um, on the site trying to pick a date, I won't be able to pick like if it's, if it's like 12 p.m., I won't be able to t pick 9 a.m. because 9 a.m. is in the past for that day. Does that make sense? So yeah, it's just disabling the past times for that current day. It's, it'll be only for when you're picking the current day. All right, confirmation email address field. This feature is basically saying, so, okay, so if someone asked me, they said, I want an input field where the confirmation email address will go to. And I said, well, that would just be the normal email address when you're filling in the form, right? Like to me, that would just be this field. And they said, no, they want to have another email address where that will go to that's different. And I ex they explained the reasoning. Um, I forget what it is offhand, but it made sense. Um, so we added that feature where now you can just put in the ID in the module. Here, I'll show you. Uh, confirmation email, if I'm sending that. Here it is, confirmation email address field ID. So like right here, the field ID is email, but if you had a different one, you would take that email and write it, write it there, whatever the ID was, okay. Related to that kind of, I guess, is logged in user as confirmation email address. Now this is like if you have a membership site and someone's already logged in and you want them to send a contact form. It could feel redundant if you ask them for their email address because they're already logged in. And so now this merge tag, um, the Divi contact form helper, site, username, user info, email, that merge tag. Now that will work for showing the, the user's email address. So you don't necessarily now, like you could actually, if, if you had a contact form that was only for logged in users, you could actually remove the email field, okay? Because um, you don't, um, and name field, because you don't need that because you've already, you already have it. It'll come through the system as that user. Hope that makes sense. All right, as always, be sure to check our change log. There's always a lot of things in the change log that I don't mention in these blog posts and videos because I only mentioned like the main features here, but there's always like a lot of cool improvements and bug fixes in the change log that you might want to check out. And obviously, if you are not using our plugin yet, why not? Because we've crossed the 100 feature mark, and that's a big deal for um, a plugin that's currently $25. Um, that's that's insane. That's insane. Like that should be three times at least that. So. We hope you enjoy it. If you do, be sure to leave us a review. That really, really helps. Like you have no idea how much a review actually helps um, until you're an actual product creator. Like it's a huge deal. Um, so if you could do that, that would mean so much to us. It would show that you appreciate um, our continued development and updates. All right, hope you enjoy it. We'll see you in the next video.